Russia has rejected allegations that it's planning to overthrow the Moldovan government. Moldova's president, Maya Sandu, has accused Moscow of plotting to overthrow her administration using foreign saboteurs disguised as protesters. Ukraine's President Zelensky has also said that Kyiv uncovered details of this uh, alleged Russian plan. The Russian um, Foreign Ministry, however, said the allegations were baseless and accused uh, Ukraine and Moldova of a smear campaign. Well, Sebastian Schaeffer is Managing Director of the Institute for Danube Region and Central Europe, which also uh, looks at developments in Moldova. Welcome to DW. Um, what do you think then, uh, an anti-Russia smear campaign or a Russian coup plot? Thank you very much for having me. Well, I think that if we look back, especially after almost 12 months of the full-scale invasion of the Russian Federation in Ukraine, the um, things that have been said by the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, um, but also the Kremlin itself, um, don't um, seem to be much trustworthy. Um, I don't say with this that there is a coup plot. I think that what uh, the Moldovan president, Maya Sandu, said, that the country and its citizens should have a maximum uh, vigilance is uh, the right call, because um, I don't uh, believe if uh, it's heavily denied from um, Lavrov and the likes that there is nothing uh, going on. If it was immediate, that's hard to judge. So how concerned then is, is the Moldovan leadership, do you think, about their country's security? Well, I think that they are rightly concerned because uh, it's uh, right next to a country that is at war. We have uh, within uh, the Moldovan country in Transnistria, the Russian army being present and uh, to be on high alert and also to act accordingly, I think it's the right call. Um, nevertheless, the, um, the immediate danger, especially from a um, military invasion, uh, I would uh, calculate as very low because I don't see that the Russian army would have capacities for that subversive um, um, initiatives and possibilities to destabilize the government, but also the country itself, uh, is something that is definitely going on. Um, less subtle when it comes to the rising energy prices, and then maybe a bit more subtle with the alleged plans that have been uncovered um, by the Ukrainian Secret Service and transferred to the Moldovan authorities. And, and how much has this war, the war in Ukraine, changed Moldova's relationship with Russia? I think that especially with the now even more immediate danger that the Russian um, administration would act violently, um, it has changed significantly the security prospects of Moldova itself. They have been uh, subject to Russian hybrid uh, warfare and Russian interference through the spreading of fake news and the like um, for years. But especially with the pro-European course of the President Sandu and also um, the Party of Action and Solidarity, who has a solid majority in the Moldovan parliament, mm. um, that now even received candidate status to become an EU member, um, have been very much under pressure right. from the Russian side because, um, as okay. Lavrov said, they are anti-Russian. Thank you for that. Sebastian Scheffer from the Institute for the Danube Region in Central Europe. My pleasure. Thank you.